<laughs> oh my god. Probably. Of that time. Yeah, for a bit. Dizzy in the middle, it's good. Today, I'm going to be taking my training up to the proper altitudes that I will be traveling when I go to Everest. So, yeah, these guys, the Altitude Center, are going to put me in a chamber, which I think is behind me. So basically, in a nutshell, today, I'm going to witness what it's like to be at base camp level and freestyling. So my worry is that I'm going to collapse and feel sick and feel horrible, but I'm hoping that I can cope with it, which will just give me more peace of mind for the challenge. So uh, let's get in there. This chamber is basically set at 2,700 meters, which is quite high. Not quite base level, base camp level, but it's getting there. So it feels all right so far. I was in here earlier, but now I'm gonna do some proper training and just see how I feel. So uh, let's go. Um. I'm currently sat on a pod and I'm about to be taken to base camp level, which is five and a half, five thousand five hundred meters. So for the first time ever, I get to witness what that's like, or witness, feel what it's like. Obviously, I've not got a ball with me at the minute, but obviously we've got to take that one step at a time. So uh, I've got to get my mask on and then uh, fingers crossed I'll be all right. Just nice steady breath here, and um, we're set at 5,500 meters. So you can see on the left hand side is John's oxygen saturation in the blue and his heart rate in the red. So this is his first time at 5,500 meters, so you can see that the oxygen saturation is starting to decrease. Um, and what we're going to get his body to do is experience over his base camp height so that we can help him to pre acclimatize. So, for the first time, I've been to 5,500 meters, and yeah, I feel all right. I feel a little bit dizzy. I feel fine now. I'm back to the 2,000 meters right now, but yeah, that was. Um, yeah, felt dizzy, felt a bit tingling. I have been working on my breathing exercises anyway. It's something called the Wim Hof Method, made famous by Wim Hof, the Iceman, absolute legend. So I got the same feeling, the tingliness in my body. But the second time I did it, so I came all the way back down to the 2,700 meters and then back up again. The second time I went back up again, I recovered faster which is a good sign too. So all in all, feeling good. Now I'm gonna get on the treadmills, do a bit on the bike, and also do a bit of freestyle as well and see how that feels. Let's go. Yeah. Right, so doing quite a bit of training so far. Feeling all right, a little bit lightheaded, but we're gonna set the machine to base camp altitude and I'm gonna freestyle. So I'm gonna juggle the ball, but I'm gonna try and do some freestyle tricks as well, which obviously is gonna take up quite a lot of energy just to see what it feels like. So uh, hopefully I can do it. She was such a paradise Standing up a mile high Oh, you fall to give me strength <laughs> yeah, good 
Welcome back. That was good. Oh my god. Probably. Part of that time. Yeah, felt a bit dizzy in the middle. It's good. You can see the um the difference in the bag started deflating. Yeah. So, um, Does that mean? It means you're breathing in a lot more, yeah. so you're breathing a lot deeper. I am shattered, but I feel very, very relieved. I feel very reassured that I was able to freestyle at base camp level and do more tricks as well, which obviously I'm not going to be doing up there. I'm going to just be juggling the ball. So feeling good, feeling fresh, well in need of a rest and a shower, but big up to those guys. Check them out, I'll put all their links below, doing some fantastic things in athletics, working with other athletes, doing different things, more extreme stuff. And Mo Farah has been there as well, training for his events and world records. So really, really cool to do that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this vlog. Make sure you share this challenge. We are very soon upon it. It's gonna be happening very, very soon, which is exciting. But thanks for your ongoing support and I'll see you all soon.